Hello guys and welcome to a new series on the upcoming game SnowRunners, where I look at the vehicles officially announced by Focus and analyse the real world counterparts and how I think they will be in game. I don't really know how long these videos will be and hopefully I'll have some relevant images on screen, but this is all a bit new to me, so yeah, it might be a bit terrible, I might never finish it if I get bored, we'll take it as it comes. Also please remember, this is all speculative, we don't really know many details for certain, so I could actually be really far off. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the vehicle that's been dubbed the Don 71. It's pretty clear that this vehicle is the real life larger Cossack, which we can tell from a number of characteristics we'll go over later, as well as the general look of the vehicle. The larger Cossack was designed and produced by the Russian company VAZ in 1977 and has been in production ever since, making it the longest running four wheel drive vehicle still in production in its original form. It's been sold all over the world under various names and has come in various forms. Over the years there has been a staggering number of body types ranging from a short wheelbase three door compact hatchback to a long wheelbase five door pickup. There was even an ambulance and beach buggy versions of the Larder Cossack built at one point. It looks as if the Don 71 is based on the original three door short wheelbase version and this is backed up by the length of 3.7 meters which is nearly exactly much as that of the real world three door short wheelbase Cossack. Now it's been shown that there will be some customization options for the vehicles in game, but I doubt you'll be able to customize the wheelbase and basic layout of the vehicle, although I might be wrong on that one. However, you will be able to upgrade the engines in game, and there is a host of engines the Cossack has used. The original Cossack has a 1.6 litre inline 4 petrol engine that put out 75 horsepower, although another variant with a 69 horsepower 1.3 litre inline 4 petrol engine was made at the same time for certain export markets, namely the Benelux and Italy. Later Cossacks have used a 82 horsepower 1.7 litre inline 4 petrol engine, a 75 horsepower 1.9 litre inline 4 diesel engine made by Peugeot, and an 84 horsepower 1.8 litre inline 4 petrol engine, although admittedly that last one was only ever used for long wheelbase versions, namely the five door wagon. The larder Cossack in its day was a good off roader. It had an always on four wheel drive, a switchable differential lock and a four speed gearbox, later upgraded to a five speed gearbox, and a high low range selector. Combined with its low weight of 1.15 tonnes and ground clearance of 265mm meant it was capable of some seriously impressive feats. For example, in early trials it was found that the Cossack could climb a 58% slope and ford 60cm of water and 100cm of mud or snow, great for those Siberian and American hills. Where the Cossack was let down was in its towing capacity, which was rated for only up to 860 kilograms. Interestingly, whilst in game it seems that you can upgrade the four-wheel drive from switchable to always-on, it appears from the truck card that there will be no differential lock option at all, which may impact the truck compared to its real-world capabilities. All in all, however, it seems to me like the Don 71 will be perhaps the perfect scout truck. Its good off-roading capability combined with its tiny dimensions means it will be able to easily go where other trucks just can't get. The only negative it has in this regard is its small fuel tank. 42 litres is the smallest revealed so far, so good fuel efficient driving may be required to get the most out of this vehicle. Outside of the scout roll, this vehicle may suffer. With its low power weight and maximum rated turn capacity, it's likely that the Don 71 will struggle in even light recovery and transport. Another factor is that it's possible that the Don 71 will be cheap, meaning that this may be a must buy for early game missions before moving on to bigger trucks. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video, I guess I hope to make two of these a week, but like I said it's all a bit news means I don't really know how that will go. Take it easy and have a good one.